This is the unit in BC 125AT. I believe it's advertised as an event scanner. It's a conventional scanner, analog scanner, 10 banks, 500 channels, 50 channels per bank. The scanner feels solid in your hand. It's uh, the plastic feels a little cheap, but it's not it's not Energy terrible. 43, 43. It has uh, ridges uh, molded into the side right. to help you uh, grip the scanner. The scan rate's pretty fast. I'm assuming it's probably 100 channels per second, maybe a little, a little lower. One of the best features of the scanner is this big LCD screen. Compared to the ICOM R6 screen, you can tell it's, it's quite a bit difference. The audio on the scanner is loud and clear. It's got a good tone to it. It's not, uh, doesn't sound Zero, muffled or anything. As you can see, the LCD screen displays you. your uh, text tag, your channel number, and the frequency, as well as your mode, and then priority if priority is activated as well as close call and then your banks you can turn those on and off by just by pressing the buttons while it's in this mode you can uh, that's close call you select the close call modes you can go close call only where it's only looking for nearby transmissions you just push scan to get back to where you was at. The belt clip uh, is not the best. It only you can only, you can only uh, maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a little more. It, it doesn't flex much, uh, but it works. Hook on a pocket or a, or a uh, a belt be fine. The stock antenna does a pretty decent job. I typically use the Diamond R877CA. It's quite a bit longer. It does very well on airband as well as VHF high. The buttons have a rubber feel to them. They're uh, it's a pretty tactile feedback tool. The scanner itself, when it's sitting on the on a desk or a flat surface, it's pretty well balanced. It doesn't. It's not top heavy. Uh, my Icon R6 uh, sitting on a desk, it, it, it's very top heavy. It falls over very easily. Uh, not so with the 125AT. It has some uh, four little feet down there to keep it balanced on the bottom of the radio. Has a the battery compartment holds two double A. Uh, alkalines or NIMH rechargeables. It comes with two 2300 milliamp hours uh, batteries. There's a switch inside the battery compartment that uh, right here you switch it to the right for NIMH to the left for alkaline. This turns the uh, ability to charge on and off so if, if you were plug it up with alkalines in there, if you push the slider that way, it won't charge and uh, have the batteries explode. When the when the back when you slide the battery door back on, it locks into place very snug and doesn't move around a lot. The coverage on this scanner is from 25 megahertz to 512. Uh, actually, it covers 25 to 54. 108 to 174, 225 to 380, and then 400 to 512. So there's no eight, there's no 800 megahertz uh, coverage. This is a uh, only up to 512. Also non-trunking. As far as programming on this radio, it's pretty simple. You just push, uh, you find you an open channel. Channel 64 is open. Push function and then program. 
and then you push enter on the frequency then you can enter your frequency and then you press enter again if it exists anywhere in the scanner it'll tell you that the frequency exists you can confirm it or uh, tell it no and we're not going to save it if you saved it then it gives you some other options there it's also PC you can program it with your PC you can download uh, the free software from Uniden uh, it does not include the radio reference import at this time but it, it does help us for, you know if you would rather do it with the keyboard versus the keypad here one of the great features of the scanner is that it allows text tagging you can input text and name your channels there as you can see it that way you you don't just have the channel number you also can tell who's talking the close call feature as mentioned earlier is also on here uh, I always usually uh, keep uh, close call do not disturb on do not disturb is the scanner will only check for close calls when there's not an active frequency so if you're receiving information and do not disturb the do not disturb will not uh, activate so that it doesn't interrupt your transmission that goes for the priority do not disturb as well another great feature is temporary lockout uh, while well, you're scanning, if you're if somebody's talking too much or you don't want to hear that channel right at that moment, you just simply press that button one time. It'll say temporary lockout. Or if you press it, uh, trying to unlock it here. If you press it two times, it locks it out until you physically unlock it. So, yeah, and the uh, temporary lockout will automatically unlock when you cycle the power. So when you turn it power off and then back on it'll automatically become unlocked. You also have your CT, CSS, and DCS squelch modes on the radio. And they're displayed right here. There's the C123.0. The scanner does not have same NOAA weather radio uh, codes, but it does have the weather alert 1050 hertz tone. I noticed that uh, if you, you push function in the number three button, which is also the weather, uh, it'll give you the weather menu. If you do alert priority and you turn it on and then you scan again, you see the WX in the bottom right corner. It tells you that it's active. However, it turns itself off if it can't receive a weather channel. I don't, I don't necessarily like that. I wish it would stay on the whole time even if it's not finding anything. That way if it does, if you come into range of a weather channel it should pick it up and should be able to alert you then. It scans the seven US uh, NOAA weather channels if you go into weather scan and if it picks one up it would, or you can press hold and uh, step through them from channel 1 to all the way to 7. You can also go into uh, alert standby and it, once it finds the channel uh, it'll hold on that channel and wait for the 1050 Hertz tone without uh, without any audio until it hears the tone. When it hears the tone it'll open the channel up. The scanner also has direct access if I wanted to go to channel 420, I just pressed hold or hold 420 and then hold again and go straight to that channel. It has service search. Press function and search. And you can turn on. It tells you what's coming on and off as it as you press the numbers. I really wish that when you do the banks when you're in program mode it would do the same thing. It would show you uh, a channel. I wish you were able to tag the banks and then it would show that I want on and off as you turn them on and off. Uh, regular search mode limit searches. You can set up 10 custom searches between any ranges that are covered by the scanner. As far as performance goes, sitting beside the R6 uh, on VHF high, this scanner is very 
uh, comparable. It does a very good job on VHF high using the Diamond R8 77 CA antenna. Uh, just the stock bug does pretty well. I mean, it's getting good signal here. On VHF high, uh, I'm picking up agencies within 20 miles of me. Uh, it does a pretty good job. I'm hearing them fairly clear with a good signal strength. Uh, UHF, I have one agency the nearby that uses the UHF in the 400 megahertz range and, and it picks them up with no problem as well. The battery life, I'm getting about four hours off a set of 2300 milliamp hour AA batteries. Uh, these generic ones that come with the scanner as well as uh, Energizer 2300 that I have. I also have some uh, Power X 2700 and I get about five hours out of that. So it, it with the backlight on 100% of the time, it really goes through batteries. Uh, you have to keep a few on hand or you can uh, use the, this uh, port here that plugs up the USB. Very hard to open. It's due to die. There's a the USB port there, mini USB. Plug it into the USB on your computer, or if you have an adapter, it'll charge it. It'll charge it, or you can just run it straight off of that power. It doesn't have an attenuation button. I'd really like to see that. However, the temporary lockout serves a good purpose for that. But even sitting here, I'm right beside my computer, and uh, I have very little interference with this scanner, so it does a pretty decent job with uh, rejecting the interference. At this time, there's no 7.5 kilohertz steps uh, available on the scanner. However, it said on the radio reference forums that there's a future firmware update coming that's going to allow that. All in all, for 140 bucks, possibly cheaper, on uh, the internet or your local shop, I think this is a really excellent scanner for uh, 500 channels, uh, alpha tags temporary lockout, close call, uh, got some weather features, priority, uh, failed to mention the priority, but the priority menus there, you got priority do not disturb, you can set up to 10 priority channels, uh, priority plus, you scan the only priorities, so I mean all in all, this is a great little radio, it's uh, fits in your hand, it's comfortable to hold, sits on the desk well, has good receive, uh, I don't think you can go wrong. So if you're looking for an airband antenna or airband scanner with uh, plenty of channels, plenty of memory, and uh, good audio, it's a real excellent audio. Uh, it's a good scanner. Go out and get yourself one.